<laughs> Welcome back to Wisconsin tonight. Hard to believe Labor Day less than two weeks away. It is amazing, isn't it? But if you are looking for a last minute getaway, we have you covered. Joining us tonight, Stephanie Klett, Secretary from the Wisconsin Department of Tourism. Yay. Thank you nice for coming here. in and making us laugh. Welcome, the whole Stephanie. Right there. So, one tank of gas is the strategy here to get away. Yes. And uh, let us start first with the place I like to go to. Wallersheim Winery, Prairie de Sac. Well, so much to do in that area. Okay, so you know the Wallersheim Winery. Yes. The Wallersheim Winery is the oldest winery in the state of Wisconsin. It was founded in the 1800s by a Hungarian count. And this is no mm -hmm. kidding. A lot of people don't know the story. But he founded this winery in Prairie du Sac. And he was mad that his grapes weren't juicy enough to make it through our tough winters. Mm -hmm. wow. So he went on to California and was the founder of the California wine industry. But he was in Wisconsin first. Really? So now they have reopened. It was built in the 1840s their wine cave yeah. so you can go to the Willersheim winery and see this amazing cave oh. and learn the history about the winery award-winning wines their winemaker Philippe Cucard yeah. came from the Bordeaux region of France to Wisconsin and he thought Wisconsin was a city in California isn't that no joke and he ended up falling in love with Bob Wildersheim's daughter and he created all these amazing wines and people love their wines and let's talk about uh, New Glarus I know that we oh. love going around and just enjoying the sights and sounds of Wisconsin. Well, one of the great things about Wisconsin is our ethnic heritage. And so this is huge Swiss and German heritage. So in New Glarus, one, you've got the William Tell Festival coming up Labor Day weekend. Oh, okay. And this festival is fantastic because not only do they do, you know, the William Tell um, play is all about a Swiss hero. So they do it in English and then they follow it up. Their next show is all done in German. So um, they have that many people wow. that speak Swiss and German that they do an entire show about it. And of course, oh. what we know about that area is the brewery. Right. The New Glarus <laughs> Brewery, I'm so the cow, sorry. Here. Yes, well, we, we could use a little bit right now. But as you can see, it looks like a European Beautiful. village. Yeah, they does. spent millions of dollars yeah. redoing the outside. It is an amazing experience. You can spend the day there. This isn't a place that you go to for an hour or a few minutes. You can spend a day, you can spend a week there. And you'd, wow. it'd be a very happy week. And the town You're a good of, salesperson. <laughs> the town there, New Glarus, it is just the cutest little place okay. you could ever go. New Glarus is charming, but here's a little trivia for you that I probably shouldn't say on TV. The largest men's urinal in the Midwest is in New Glarus. Steve, a reason to go. I, the Glarner Stew Bay. I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, let's go to Black River Falls. Uh, uh, this is the, uh, the world's largest bidet in Black River Falls. Yeah, no, 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 no. That would be in, back in New Glarus. <laughs> okay. But Black River Falls has so many great attractions, and one of them is the Ho Chunk. Um, the Ho Chunk Nation is in Black River Falls, and they have a powwow Labor Day weekend wow. that is amazing. And it's a celebration of life, but they always honor their veterans as well. So if you've never mm. been to a powwow, this is a fantastic one to go to. They have arts and, and crafts and all of that. Um, also nearby is Wazi Lake. Mm -hmm. Wazi Lake is the deepest inland lake in the state of Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Great place to scuba dive, to learn mm -hmm. how, and snorkel. And in the winter, which seems far away right now, they do ice scuba diving, one of the few places in the really? world. Really? Oh, they That's cut open ice? a hole and go down, and it's it's crazy. Beautiful. There's, <laughs> there's unbelievable. No shortage of things to do in Wisconsin over the Labor Day weekend. Stephanie Clutt, thank you so much. It's my pleasure. <laughs> and, and of course, the last thing they ended with was a little beer because there's Sand Creek Brewery, which is amazing, the third largest microbrewery in the state of Wisconsin. You're just a wealth of information. Whether you want it or You're not. You're like a walking encyclopedia. <laughs> we want it. Thank you very much, A lot of Stephanie. beverages mentioned in that segment. We've got more information at the website, tmj4.com slash Wisconsin tonight. People might think Thank we you. had some. Thank you, Stephanie. <laughs>